Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 great things that you can do in Cardiff. So Cardiff is the capital city and the largest city in Wales. So obviously this means there are so many great things to do here, including parks, castles, museums, and more. So let's not waste time and begin with my personal favorite part of Cardiff, and that is Cardiff Bay itself. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice when exploring the Cardiff Bay area is the Millennium Center, which is an arts center. It was first opened in 2004 and holds a variety of different creative events. But if you just wanna admire the exterior of the building itself, it's very architecturally striking and it's the perfect place to start your exploration of Cardiff Bay. Now, located right in front of the Millennium Center is Roald Dahl Plas, named after the author Roald Dahl himself as he was born in Cardiff and grew up here as well. This part of Cardiff Bay you may also recognize if you're a Doctor Who fan as it has made multiple appearances in the show in the past. In fact, a lot of Doctor Who is filmed in and around Cardiff, so throughout this video, if you are a fan of the show, you may well recognize quite a few of these places. So after walking through Raldal Plas, you will then get here, and from here you get a great idea of just how big Cardiff Bay is. In fact, it is actually the largest waterfront redevelopment project in Europe. It cost over 102 million and covers over 2,700 acres. So that probably gives you a scale as well as how much there is to do here. Just in this area alone, you could maybe have a ride on the Ferris wheel. There are so many experiences on the water, such as sightseeing tours as well. You can even go for a spin in a speed jet boat. So there is so much to choose from if you just wanna get out on the water for a bit. A short walk from here, you will see this very unique building, which is the Welsh Parliament building. And again, it's a very visually striking structure. The architecture in this area is really interesting, which I think makes Cardiff Bay even more unique in my opinion. It's just so iconic and instantly recognizable. And we're not finished with it yet because from here you can walk down to Waterfront Park for a great view across Cardiff Bay. And this is also home to the Norwegian church. Going back to Roald Dahl, this is actually where he was christened as well. There's a small cafe here and at the time we visited there was a small gallery upstairs as well. So just a really interesting place to explore. Okay, before moving into the city center of Cardiff itself, I just really wanted to quickly mention, if you do want even more travel ideas and inspiration from all over Wales, feel free to check out my full Wales playlist in which we've been exploring Pembrokeshire, Carmarthenshire, Snowdonia, Anglesey, and more. And please consider subscribing if you have been enjoying this video so far. It really means a lot and it really helps me out. But yes, back to the video and moving into the city center now. And firstly, I wanna talk about the National Museum of Cardiff. The museum itself is located in a gorgeous part of Cardiff opposite these gardens and also right next to the city hall. This area itself is great to see. And obviously, whilst you're there, why not pop into the museum for a little bit? It's full of contemporary art, natural history, and all you'd ever need to know about the evolution of Wales. It's really interesting to go inside and you'll likely end up spending much longer inside the museum than you had planned, much like we did, because it was absolutely massive inside. I also just wanna mention there are a few different museums to choose from in Cardiff. Obviously I've focused on the National Museum, but there is also the Museum of Cardiff, which takes you through the history of the city of Cardiff itself. And if you fancy something a little different, you've got St. Fagan's Museum, which is an open air museum showing the historical lifestyle of Welsh people. So next up, I've come to the castle section of the video because there are a few located in and around Cardiff. First of all, you have Cardiff Castle, it's located right in the city center and the foundations of this site actually date back to 50 AD. This castle that you can see today dates back to the 11th century, but it was completely reconstructed in the 1800s for the third Marquess of Butte, who was apparently the world's richest man at the time. Speaking of the third Marquess of Butte, I just wanted to quickly mention Butte Park, which is located next door to Cardiff Castle. This is a park and arboretum, and it's just perfect for a stroll around to relax and unwind in the lovely gardens. This park would have also once formed the grounds of Cardiff Castle itself. So now technically leaving Cardiff a little bit for my next point, but I just really wanted to mention it because this castle is amazing, and that is Carefilly Castle. 
Carefully, how did they build this castle? I don't know. How? Carefully. It's around a 20 minute drive north of Cardiff city centre, um, but this is a medieval castle dating back to the 13th century with a great history of battles and it's surrounded with these artificial lakes that have been called the most elaborate water defence in Britain. It's actually the largest castle in Wales and the second largest in the entire UK, but it's just so impressive and it's definitely worth a visit. Wow, who are you? Welcome to my house. I've got some improvements. <laughs> this is a nice house. <laughs> Another honourable mention of a third and final castle can be found here. This is a Victorian castle that was again funded by the third Marquess of Butte. Okay, so we're approaching the end of the video now, but for a final suggestion, I just wanted to mention a little bit of a walking tour that you can do around Cardiff, and that is Cardiff's Centenary Walk, which in my opinion is the perfect way to see Cardiff's many great attractions. This is a 3.6 kilometer walk that passes 41 of Cardiff's best attractions on the way, including many of the things I've mentioned in this video so far as well as some more unknown things that you may otherwise just pass without realising you've even seen, such as these interesting sculptures here. You'll also pass the Principality Stadium, which is the National Stadium of Wales. So if you're a sports fan, that is something that you should definitely check out as well. I mean, it's massive, you can't miss it. And with that, that finishes off the video. I really hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. As I said earlier on in the video, feel free to check out my full Wales playlist for even more travel ideas from all over Wales. But yes, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video and goodbye.